Well, hello friends. Today we're gonna try porting Git to Serenity. And I don't know how far we're gonna get, but we're just gonna get started. Um, and this is something I've been meaning to do for a long time. So, um, obviously I want to move into Serenity as my primary environment and I'm gonna need Git for that. So, um, since it's something I use all the time. And I'm not really imp implementing it by myself at this point, right? So let's just get the latest tarball. Ah, oh, jeez. What was the latest version? 225 something? 225.1. Um, and we'll just make a new directory here. And I think we'll see how far we can get. So the first thing we're going to need to do is to just bring in the Serenity compiler toolchain and stuff into my environment, because that's what I normally do when I work on ports. So um, I have it in Serenity root, which is really just uh, the same as this. And you can bring in the compiler by doing this. And then you'll have the i686 PC Serenity toolchain in your path. So then you want to do like configure host um, with a, this argument. And then we run into trouble. Okay. So this is a pretty typical, slightly annoying problem uh, where um, a lot of stuff, a lot of software is not set up to support cross compilation easily. So then you have to just go into the configure script and see what it's trying to do and then sort of overwrite it. So in this case, we're failing on this check right here, checking whether system succeeds to read opened directory. So what I normally do is I just uh, succeeds to read open, right? And then you can see here that it's trying to figure out if you're on a system which succeeds when attempting to read from a FOPEN directory. Mm. I, I think we would succeed if you try to do that. Um, but it would not be reliable. Um, I wonder what they do with that flag. It seems like they use it here. Uh, read. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Well, I know that, that it's not reliable to or to read from an open directory, so I'm just gonna go ahead and override this and say that we don't read directories. And what you do then is you gotta find this. AC, I mean the CV thing, I don't know what it stands for, like config variable or something, but basically you can just find the nearby this thing, and then you can put that on your configure command line. So you say like AC CV freed reads directories, no. And then you try again. <clears throat> okay. Now it's checking whether it's in printf or this in printf. Uh, return bogus values. Um, I don't know what that is, but let's go back and look again. Define synprintf returns bogus if your are on a system which synprintf or the synprintf return minus one instead of a number of characters, um, which would have been written to the final string if enough space had been available? Mm. <clears throat> That's a good question. I'm... So smprintf is supposed to return the number of characters that would have been written, um, which makes it so that the API sort of tells you, hey, I couldn't write the whole thing, but this is how much I would have written. I, th I think that's how it's supposed to work, right? Um, so when we are doing printf, we always 
um, every format string thingy tells you how much it added to the string. Um, and then we return it. And even if we can't fit it into the buffer, we still we still increment the number. So, um, I, wait, what was it called? Uh, ACCV print, print returns bogus, right? So I think we don't return bogus. I'm gonna say no. And all right, then we should be able to make. And that did not get very far. <laughs> um, okay, I we do not have this header in Serenity. So what are they doing with that anyway? TCP. Okay, and then what? TCP. Do you even use it for something? Um, I mean, probably they do. But what if we just add it? So like, um, libraries libc net inet tcp h and then. Let me just install that. Let me try again. Okay, now I want something else. Okay, well, what's that? Sysinfo. What is sysinfo? Is that some POSIX thing? It doesn't sound like it. Mm, sounds like Linux stuff. Hmm. I mean, it sounds kind of like vaguely interesting stuff, but stuff that you could also expose through the file system. Um, but why do you think I have that? And I don't necessarily want to copy Linux mechanism, but like NetDyne at TCP that belongs to POSIX, right? So I'll take that, but... Um, this one I'm not so sure about. So why do you think I have sysinfo? Um, get C flags. What the heck is get C flags? I feel like it's being. Um, Oh, there's all this information here. Look at this. All the stuff you can do. <laughs> oh, no open SSL. Let's do that one. Mm. I mean, we have an open SSL port, so maybe it's okay. Um, but where does that come from? So, get C flags, I guess, is created from my system. Right, so it's created somehow. And they create it here. Okay, so who creates that? Get C flags. This is the target that creates it, and <laughs> track C flags. What? Um, I don't understand how that works. The only other mention of it is here, so let's just go and look what this is. Platform specific make file tweaks based on uname detection. Well, who calls that? Oh, the make file calls it. Oh, it's just part of the make file. Okay. Well, so if you run uname on my Linux machine, it's not going to tell you Serenity. So whatever this thing figures out based on the uname is not going to be accurate. And I guess it's the stuff right here that ends up. In the build environment, 
So what if we just say I'm just gonna lie to it, right? Okay. Okay, that's more like it. So now we need Zlib. Okay, we have Zlib. We can just uh, install a port. Cool. And these are some int types business for sure. So which ones do we need to add? Pryumax. I guess it's the largest um, unsigned type. So it'd be like pryu64, I would think. Um, maybe you could. Maybe we should write that in terms of the pry64 prefix. So like pry64 prefix u something like that. Oh, and of course we have to install whenever we change the C library. All right, we are off to a build. This is a very strange error. Expected struct stat star, but argument is of type struct stat star. That's not very helpful. <laughs> uh, archive tar needs pryomax. Well, that one is easy. Wait, didn't I make the. Ch oh, I forgot to say oh. Ah. <laughs> What's wrong with my struct stat definition? Struct stat, is it like a C thing? Let's see. Uni STD. Mm. Maybe I should define it differently. Anyways, it seems to be compiling. So. H Erno undeclared. H Erno, this is host lookup stuff, right? So H Erno. So get host by name has his own Erno. I've seen this before, but I never. Um, dug into it. Uh, why does it have its own error? Okay, on error it holds an error number. So it can have the following values. So let's just let's just add this thing. So we'll say like extern int h error now and then like define was not found 101 I don't know just some number no recovery and what was the last one try again ah okay install and make look at us making progress I got up super early today, so I'm making a video in the morning. Um, hope I'm not waking everybody up here. I got like two hours more than usual, so I figured I would do something with them. And why not port git if you have two hours, right? Try dmax. So, same thing here. Levenstein. That sounds familiar. Some string thing, like the, how similar two strings are to each other. I don't know. What is Levenstein? Levenstein distance. 
The difference between two sequences. So it's not a number. Hmm. I guess you could use this for fuzzy matching. I would like to maybe look into this later because I want to do fuzzy matching for uh, Hack Studio for the locator thingy. That's where you. This thing I'm using, Cube Creator here, like when I press Control K and I can type libc or just lib int type and uh, it finds me the thing I want. It would be nice to have something for that. Oh shit, we made it to link! So, uh, what do we need now? We are missing pread, get pass, and get served by name. Okay, so whenever we are missing something, the easiest thing to do is to just add a stub. So pread goes in unistd. Uh, I'll put it next to the regular read, I guess. So, read is what signature exactly? Same as read, just an offset at the end. Okay, so wait, size D count. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, it's implied that it's an offset. And I'm gonna turn off kernel mode. Okay. So yeah, we'll just make a stub for it. We'll say a certain I reached and maybe like I'll just say print out the things before we die. Of um, count and the offset. The reason that it's nice to do stubs when you're porting is that very often it's gonna turn out that it's not it doesn't need the functionality, it's just trying to link against it, and you can still get the basic program up and running. So I'm kind of hoping now that it's not going to use uh, these things. I mean, we also need get served by name. I thought we had get served by name. I guess we only have the declaration. Um, we'll put that in that DB, so... Get served by name. name. Maybe we will put some fancy double quotes here for string so that it looks like a real string. Because they fixed me also. So get server by name is this thing that turns like the string um, thinks this the, the string like um, telnet and turns it into the number 23 essentially so we can do stuff like telnet uh, serenity os dot org http and then it turns http into 80 because it's the service but we don't have that implemented and on linux it comes from etsy services so it looks it up in this database here and finds this thingy. Um, anyway, we're just going to put a fix me for that and I would want it to say fix me here as well. And then we have one more thing, it was get pass. What the hell is get pass? I've never heard of that. Get a password. This function is obsolete, do not use it. Come on, Linus. What are you doing using this spooky functionality, huh? Um, so it's a uh, char star that takes a prompt and gives you back a password. It sounds like a pretty shit uh, API, but we can add it just for for this to build. So get pass, const char, prompt, and then we'll say, we'll just stub it out. Debug. Um, 
and there we go. Okay. So now we try to build. I mean, we have to replace the seed library because we just made changes to it. But with those stubs, how far can we go? Okay, we need inet n2a and h erno. Right, okay, I already added h erno, but I didn't define it. So inet n2a. Inet n2a. Mm, which one is that? I always mix, mix these up. N2a. I guess it's network to ASCII, right? Gives you a char star for a an adder. Mm. An adder is just an IP address, right? Um, I guess this N2A goes in ARPA INET, I would think. Does it? I get into a posits. Let's see where they put it. Arpa Inet, right. Yeah, it goes next to these guys. Okay, so um, char Inet into a. I think we'll just stub it out. Uh, or we could also just, uh, eh, we could just make a thingy. So we'll just do like, And, um, oh wait, we even have helpers for this. Let's use our helpers. Because why not? And we'll do, um, IPv4 address. This right, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, we have from string, but we don't have. Ah, oh, that's a bit annoying. And there's no nice way to access this thing. Did we do this already? Oh, we're doing it here. Oh, we have INF Python. Uh, and I need in top. Look at this. This is already what we want, essentially. So we don't need this thing. We can just implement one in terms of the other. Um, I need to find uh, entropy. If I net the source is in destination is buffer and the line is the size of the buffer, I guess. Is that right? And we'll make it static so that we can return it. Alright. Well that was an unnecessarily struggled <laughs> Okay, now what? We don't have sock up reuse adder. I thought we would have had that. Hmm. Well, we don't have to implement it. We can just add it 
So where are these here? I can fix it up in Unix types as well. Okay, so this one, it's probably just a matter of making sure that it's added. Because I guess I should have set some goal here. Like the goal should be to just like show, build Git and then like not not like clone a repository, but let's say that we want to just um, I want to like load in this running repository and do like a git show so I can see the latest commit or like a git log or something like that. Um, that would be cool. So pryo32. I assume that's just more in type stuff. I don't have any of the octal ones, so we can just add those. OVO. Um, o64 is going to be LLO. It would be nice if everything just works. <laughs> I don't have to actually implement any of those stubs. SCNU Max. Uh, what the heck is that? I mean, it sounds like an in type thing, but I've never heard of SCNU Max. What does it mean? Wait. Oh, it's character string literals for fscanf. Cool, okay. So SENU max. Um, I don't know what I'm looking at here. Just hit me with. Just tell me what Linux has, and I will believe it will work for me too. So, user include. Oh. Okay. So, essentially, just the same as these guys right here. Scanf, such a weird family of function functions. Porting mm -hmm. work is not so glamorous, I, but it's also quite chill. Perfect morning activity, really. Just uh, try to compile, see what breaks, fix it up. Try to compile, see what breaks, fix it up. Oh. That looks like progress. We did something. Dude. Okay. We have a build. Let's install it. Oops. Install. Okay. Let's see if we can run this. Oh, no space left on device. Okay, can't fit these guys, what's wrong with them? They are 14 megs. Are all of them like this? Oh shit, okay, they get pretty big, all right. Don't they do stripping? Don't they do stripping? Strip. Make strip. Okay, let's try that again. 
Hey, it fits. Okay. Because I don't need 14 megabyte git binaries. So, um, git version. Ah, all right. <laughs> That's cool. Um, see if we can make a repository. Okay. I made something. Put something in there. All right. But then... What's going on? No such file. Well, yeah. I assume it's not there. You're supposed to create it. <laughs> um, what if I create it for you? Oh, wait, what? Is it? Oh, it's the slash on the end. Hmm. Okay. So, MKD can't deal with the slash on the end. So we're just gonna help it along and see. <laughs> Branches. Unable to mmap. Uh, right. Not supported. Well, that sounds like our problem, so... Oh, let's just look for unable to... Um... Uh, I guess it was this one right here, config.c. Presume it comes from here. XM map gently. So presumably this is returning map failed. What the hell is XM map gently? SHA1 file C. XM map gently. Okay, so it's just a wrapper around mmap essentially. But it is getting not supported. E not sup. Oh. oh, there's only one thing that causes this. It's map private. Oh shit, yeah, 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 right. We don't have map private for files. And they're trying to do a map private for files. Ooh. Um, why don't we just work around this and do a shared mapping <laughs> for now? Um, prot read. These are all prot read. Okay, so then I don't feel bad about doing them. I'm just going to do it this way. Map shared. Um, let's see. Okay. Yeah. I don't have to rebuild everything. Because I think we have a bug open about this actually. Um, that we don't support map private at all for file and maps, and that's something that we should implement. Issues. Yeah, right. Uh, this is getting a little laggy here, so... 
Map private and map based on inode does not actually create a private mapping. Yeah, that's right, Andrew. Um, yeah, it's going to take some work, so I'm not going to get into it now. We're just going to do shared mappings from Git and then hope that we can get away with it. So this is strip install sync and run okay git and ah oh, and the directories branches ooh we got a repo okay git log no commits <laughs> Dude. Cannot run less. Well, what if I give you a different pager? Okay. Um, let's get add main. Please tell me who you are. Okay. Um, it doesn't seem to understand that I want to add files. Okay. Um, well, we don't have to track this down right now. Let's just import a already working repository and see what we can do with that. So why don't we get clone uh, my and D repo? And run out of space. Okay. Um, just make the image a bit bigger. 800 megabytes. Ought to be enough for anybody. Okay. Get stats. What's it doing? Oh shit! Search and fail. Okay. And P read. Right. Dang it. So it wants to P read. That's the stub. One of the stubs that we added. All right. So yes. This is a bit annoying because P read is like um, it's like read, but it doesn't use the implicit offset of the file descriptor, but rather it uses the a specified offset. Um, and is this not a POSIX interface? I feel like it is. And I think we would have to implement it as a system call. Um, but I don't want to do that right now, so can we just hack it? What if we just um, get the current offset and then restore it afterwards? So like, we do a zero length relative seek, get the old offset, and we seek to the uh, new offset. And then we do a... Um, in red, um, read into the buffer with the count, and then we seek back to where we were. Old offset, seek set, and then return the whatever read told us. So that's kind of fuggly, and it's not thread safe, but like an approximation of what pread should do. <laughs> kind of gross. But maybe we can make progress with it. So uh, make oh I need to rebuild to get a relink. Uh 
I mean, I bet I didn't have to rebuild completely, actually. I could trick it into relinking somehow, like, um, just deleting the binaries or something. Hmm. I wish I would have done that. Wow, it takes almost as long to build as Serenity. Yeah. Well, one of these days I'm going to get a stronger computer, that's for sure. Um, but not today. Come on now. Still have plenty of time, so... Let's see... What kind of diff are we working with? It's not so bad, actually. Maybe we can just add some, some of these things. Let's see, add some thing, different macros to in text stage. Yeah. And we can also add that dummy TCP page. Let's see, add empty TCP page. This placates. This is enough to placate um, someone, anyone who concludes it without actually using. Um, that was fine, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then db. Uh, we can get back to those. Okay. So strip install sync and run git status. What is the git status? Okay. Show me the latest. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is as far as I know, my latest commit. Git log. Oh, look at that. Oh, man, that's so cool. Hmm. All the way back to the start. Import all of this stuff into a single repo called Serenity. Can you see it, too? That would be neat. Oh, look at that. That's where it all began. Don't have infinite scroll back. Um, dude, that's so cool. You can see all my local branches where I mess around with stuff. Um, which actually there were not so many of them. It's like, what if I change something? Will that detect it? What if we change the license to say like the BSD sixty nine clause license? What would happen? Git diff. Oh, I don't have less. Um, I have more. Did this do anything? Oh, shit. <laughs> it's so cool. Um, all right, so can we add it? I don't know what was up with that. Maybe git add just doesn't work. I'm not sure. We'll see here. Oh, wait, no, hold on, it's okay. Um, so I don't know why it doesn't work in the new repo then. Do m change license, yo. Oh, I have to say who I am. Well, I'm sorry. Hold on, username, Andres. Dude, that's pretty cool. <sighs> this makes me very excited. <laughs> um, it's awesome. So now I could start, I could actually work on Serenity inside Serenity 
and commit stuff, create commits, not just like make the changes. Because that's this is something that's been holding me back for sure from like doing more work inside the system because I don't want to edit code in there and not be able to make commits. Ah, oh, man, this is so freaking cool. Um, so there are a bunch of issues that we need to write down. So I'm just going to put them into like a little bit of um, thingy here. So issues down during git porting. Linkadir with trailing slash fails. And git add in a freshly edited repo fails. Um, I have to debug these things. Not uh, private, not supported for files. Um, so I've got to write add bug reports to GitHub about those, but this is pretty cool. So let's see. Let me just go ahead and see what other changes we have here. So get uh, this market. That was just, oh right, that was just this one. So we can add that one. Um, and that one has a companion change in the kernel. Kernel plus libc add uh, so we use adder macro. Note that this is not actually implemented, just finding it. Yeah. And then we have this change we don't want to keep. It's just messing with the disk image stuff. ARPA init, we can add that one. is so gross, but I think I'm gonna just <laughs> add it that way. Um, let's see, netdb. Add a journal and stub out get served by name. Um, I'm going to put that in a separate commit because it's so goofy, but P so like this and C step out. Oh no, no, no. yeah, step out can't pass. Fix me. This is not let's say and should be implemented in the kernel instead. Oh no no no. Let's see. Crappy uh, version of PV. Uh, this patch has a uh, crappy PV just to get um working hopefully um a proper version would be implemented in the kernel so that we don't want to mess with the file descriptors offset at all okay that's pretty cool so maybe we can make a port file for this so, like, so that someone else can install this. 
what do we take? We take, um, because I, I never learned this format, so we'll, we'll just copy something here, like nano, um, package, get 225.1, was it? Yeah. And where did we get it from? Here. Files. Git dash um, version dot tar xc. Oh, we have dot sign. And 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 and, and that's, um, right. I was not paying full attention to how this format works, and this is now biting me a little bit in the ass. But um, because a lot of people have worked on the port system, and some really cool changes have been coming in, I'm very very uh, grateful to all the people who have been contributing to it. Probably, I'm probably the person who does the least work on ports, so it's actually nice to do a little bit of porting stuff just for a moment. So we need that, we depend on Zlib, I think, was the only dependency that we saw. <coughs> um, wait, go off type. I don't even know what I'm doing with that auth type. MD5 sig is a thing. Okay. Sig. Okay. I, I'm not going to get into the um, signing stuff because I'm. Um, I would have to figure out how it works and it would take too much time right now. So uh, there's room for improvement in the port here. We can um, fix up the signing stuff. Okay, CVP flags, we don't need to mess with those. But we did export no open SSL, so let's do that one. And we did do some manual patching, so we got to... Um, we gotta make our own diff here. So, so we're in a team. It's funny to do this kind of um, diffing of Git instead of using version control. Um, I don't need the new files. How do I get it to shut up about that? Are we... this port works. 
No, we didn't do the ACCV stuff. Shit. Um, where do we have those? ACCV. Oh, here they are. Okay. Maybe we can just export those as well and we'll just work. Let's try it out. Yeah, it looks like they come through. Okay. So if this works, that would be really cool. And oh shit, we're gonna need that strip thing. Do we have some stripping thing and some other thing? We do it for GCC, right? So how do we do that? GCC. Strip, build, right, so build takes care of it here. Mm, I'm just going to fix that up right away. So build, run make, make ops, um, run make strip. Yeah, I have to go again, but. Oh, I see that we're doing an incremental port rebuild here. Might not be the best actually, probably ports should not resume building like that, but it is convenient right now. Hmm. Package and we would want the patches. Probably that's all the changes that we would want. Supports and get to 2021. Okay. It built. That's awesome. And it's here. All right. So, um, there are various issues with this port, um, but it's uh, off. Needs um, to be fixed, but uh, basic. But it's uh, um, at least possible to interact, inspect, and modify um, a repo. If I do serenity, serenity as repo, I clone it into the disk image from the outside. Very cool. Wow, putting a double, double those guys. No, we're not gonna do uh, uh, like that. Yeah. And it port. Cool. All right. So. I think that we are going to be done for the day here. So if you made it this far, then I thank you for watching, for hanging out. Oh, shit. Don't know what happened here. That doesn't look right. Um, it's something that we will have to investigate, but I'm not going to do it now. <laughs> um, so if you made it this far, then I thank you for watching and uh, hanging out, and I hope you saw something interesting. And I'm really happy that we're able to make such good progress on Gitport. Um, obviously, there are some kinks to, <laughs> to iron out here, but, but this, is, this is really awesome. It means that we can, uh, we're, we're one big step closer to working inside Serenity, 
instead of on the outside. So very, very cool. Um, don't know what else to say. Uh, everything's upside down because it's early morning and I already have breakfast and I'm making a video. So I guess I'll just go drive to work and <laughs> see you guys later.